Hey Aries, welcome to my channel. This is the next 24 hours love connection, love advice for you Aries. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading is for you. This is for the sign of Aries. What can I get for Aries? Friends, please. What is the love intuitive advice for the Aries friends out there, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you Aries for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your support. For guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you are interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, check out the description box below because you'll find the details of my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. Um, check out my online store, the setting manifestation. Interesting, it's blank. I've been using this deck first. It's my first day. Hmm. Anyhow, um, enough of my marketing. <laughs> and let's just get into your reading, okay? This is for Aries. What is the intuitive love advice over the next 24 hours plus the weekend energy, please? All right? You started off with an Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Strength card in reverse. The Fool card is in reverse. I really feel like this is just a recent energy, not so long ago energy, like um, a month ago, two months ago, three months ago. Um, I'm hearing the word, an encounter of someone in the past, a month ago, two months ago, three months ago. Um, it was really, it was just casual, all right? Um, I think you expected a lot from them they return they call you they text you um it it didn't um it didn't pan out the way you expected to be and um this person who it seems to be mission incomplete um they're feeling the incompleteness of what they did towards you aries they feel incomplete they feel um, a sense of cowardness, stupidity, or um, they wasted your time and they've wasted their time too because something is preventing them to go full time. They keep changing their mind. They don't want to take a risk. It, it is weak. They don't want to put an effort. And then somewhere down the road, they're out there, wherever they are, they sit in a corner and they feel lonely. And um, they feel alone, lonely, and they think of you, and not just you, a general life situation. And they feel like if they could have tried, you could have been back together or in a relationship right now. So there is someone of, um, yeah, a past, a month ago, to two months ago, three months ago, that it's feeling lost and feeling regretful that they didn't do their best. Yeah, two of ones. They did not plan it well. Um, I really feel like this person, they're very confused in the past. Um, let's see what's coming forward, you have. Because I really feel like this is like detachment from something stupid. From Because you've got seven of pentacles in here. I clarified that four of wands and the wheel of fortune. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Um so they're analyzing and gathering facts and details that they were indeed the one who, um, seven of pentacles in the reverse, four of wands, who, if it didn't work, it was them. They didn't put an effort, their passion towards you. It's, it was on and off. It was fluctuate, fluctuating on and off. Um, it, they blamed, it, it, it is accountability. It's a person who is looking through a magnifying glass and finally admitting it's it's my fault Aries and um this person is like they're gonna they're going to what do you call this they will pull themselves they'll pull they will pull themselves out of this you know um very because they feel stuck and they don't want to be stuck anymore so they're finding the luck and courage to will of fortune you know, to swing, swing by, maybe they will drop by with you, see you, but they will try again. They will try again. Um, It's just that, what do you call this energy? 
for them to try again and make it successful, they want to trace back their mistake, the issue, the wrongness, the incompatibility in order to correct the course that they want to take forward with you. So, yep, they will reach out, they will call you, they will text you, they, they'll text you, text you, sorry. Maybe because they're feeling hot, it's red, but they will try again. But there's a process. This this person believes to to meet you, to, to be successful in the future is to correct the past. All right? Feeling luck, lucky. Feeling lucky in love. They're finding lucky in love. Feeling, yeah, the feeling of... They want to feel the love again and they want to feel lucky this time around. Okay? And then the next reading, you've got the Four of Swords in upright position. You've got the Moon card in the Death card. So this is a situation ship around November time. Okay? There is a situation ship November time. Could be a breakup. It could be a separation. Um, this person is still thinking about you. Four of Swords, they want to take a break. If you're not talking right now, you're not in conversation um, or aloof or cold, they want to take a break. They still love you. They even miss you now. Um, they have to walk away. For the meantime, it's like, let's take a break. Let's take a pause. Um, for some of you, they, they're going to grief or maybe someone from their family passed away. Um, something that they need to do on their own. I'm hearing the word black out, you know, like switch off. So um, they never stop thinking about you and they won't stop. They won't stop thinking about you. They will never do that. They know that this is just um, a turning point where maybe it's not ready. Maybe it's not, um, it's not very timely. I don't think this person is giving up. It's just more on... Um, they believe that there's something, um, there's, there's a catch between the two of you. You guys are connected in um, in a very um, intellectual and emotional way. And they don't want to waste that. Um, they don't want to waste this connection. But um, it feels, um, it doesn't feel right to proceed. Okay. But it really feels good. And they want to make it right for you. They want to get back to you at a time that you guys are a click some they have to have to exit the scene i'm really getting you know death card they have they have to exit the scene in order to really find something that they're looking for for some of you um i don't know maybe they want to discover something about themselves before they love again um it's it's a person's very sentimental it's deep this is intuition the moon card intuition even the way they um, detach, the way they sleep, they still think you will never be forgotten by this person because they tend to come back somewhere down there in the future, okay? It's just right now, it wouldn't work and they don't want to hurt you or they don't want to get hurt, so they will detach. It's it's like um, there's a magnet between the two of you, but it, it's something strange and pen, painful that um you, you couldn't be together right now maybe there was a third part or too many clashes but it's um i don't even call it a cool off it's um it's a it's not a cool off because cool off you will continue what you started this person does not want to to continue what you started they want to bin whatever you participated in them in the past they want to leave the past behind and start all over again like a reset a restart that's what they want so this person will completely um pull away from you they will you know they will try to get you out of their system and then get back to you in in a very newish energy there's future. Very, very optimistic energy. Okay? So it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, and Scorpio. All right? And then the next reading is we've got the Five of Wands in reverse, the King of Cups, the Six of Swords. I think this is a breakup or a separation or a fight. Uh, five of Wands, King of Cups. Um, untimely. Untimely breakup. You know, un unfinished business. Untimely breakup. Like you break up and you said not so good things about each other. And then you threat like, okay, goodbye, break up. I wish you all the best. Bye-bye. 
and blah 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 the six of swords with this moving on this is not finished this is not done okay you or them one of you is lying and saying all right all the best in your life good luck blah blah blah, blah. this is not done this is not done this is not over you've dealt with you've dealt with the situation in a immature impulsive way so your feelings with one another it will catch up on you and at some point one of you one of you will will come back and communicate it's unfinished business it is what you really want to say one of you is not being honest um that's not what you want to say you don't want to say goodbye you want the other person to tell you stop saying goodbye let's fix it but pride came into the picture so i see you regrouping again within six weeks within six months for some of you but i see you regrouping this is not the outcome of it i'm telling you guys aries leo sagittarius cancer scorpio pisces gemini libra aquarius energy okay this is not if this was a third party they will try they will date i see them returning with sad face crying drama when they return i tell you okay so this is you thank you so much for tuning in thanks for being here thanks for supporting my channel i hope you like the reading if you do don't forget to hit to hit the subscribe button in the bell and i'll see you soon again guys bye bye